Well, I am always curious what my heart rate is. Let's take a look at the River Song Wave HR. company called Riversong reached out to me a few weeks ago and actually asked if I was interested in taking a look at this. As you can see, this is a heart rate monitor. It shows you time and date, incoming call notifications, calories test, sleep monitor, reminders to move, and you've got your anti-lost and fine phone features. It's also compatible with iOS 7 and Android 4.4 or later, and it comes in a range of colors, as you can see there. I'll have a link to where you can find this down in the description. But taking a quick look over at their Amazon page, this comes in at $39.99, at least at the time of filming this. So to get something that can do notifications and track your heart rate, as long as the app is not completely terrible, this could be interesting. Let's see what's in the box. So we open it up. Oh, it says Facebook, chance for a free gift. Here is the heart rate monitor. There's stuff that fell out. So here's the fitness band heart rate monitor. Put it off to the side. One can only assume this is the charging cradle. USB cable, relatively short with two pins on the end. And then the instruction manual. There's a brief layout of the device. You've got the shell, the OLED display, side key, touch button and watch band. And then the back has a sensing light. That's the heart rate monitor light and charging contacts. Your accessories are just the charger. If you want to install the app, it's called VeryFit 2.0 and they say it's on the app store and Google Play. And there's some specifications if you're curious. The CPU, the sensors inside, Bluetooth 4.0. It has a polyam lithium battery, 70 milliamp hours. And they say that yes, it's waterproof, life waterproof. I don't have any ratings on the IP certification or anything like that, but I can only assume that it's at very least shower resistant. I don't know if I would take it in the pool or not, but we will find out. There's no plugs or anything, so I can only assume it probably is fully waterproof. So here's the app, VeryFit 2.0. Looking at some of the screenshots, it does not look absolutely terrible, but it does have a 2.9 on the Google Play Store. It says it doesn't count steps correctly. Everything seems okay, but it's not syncing. Not looking promising so far, but we will see. Well, the app has started and it's trying to find the device, but the device hasn't actually been started up yet. So let's go ahead and power this on. And there you go. Get up nice and close there so you can see the display. It says zero 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 oh one oh one and then you do have a push button here it doesn't look like it wants to stay on but i guess that's just the amount of time it stays on before it turns the screen off and there's heart rate steps distance calories burned and back to your clock so now back in the app hopefully uh, it does say id 107 hr so i can only assume that's this device confirm bind and it did buzz whenever it bound setting up profile all right setup is complete and actually as i was saying from the play store this does look like a pretty decently designed app as you can see up here, if you can see that, it says it is syncing at the moment. There's nothing to be synced, of course. Taking a little bit of time to do it, but I guess we'll see just how well that does. And just a few seconds later, probably 10 seconds total, it said synchronization completed. But here under the main page, you can see we have zero steps. I should probably go ahead and put this on. All right, and we are on. It does show the right time. Let's see if I can get my heart rate very quickly. I may not have it on time. Oh, it says 90, 97. That may be a little high, although it is going down. No, that may be pretty close to accurate, just counting by putting my fingers on my jugular here. Carotid jugular, I don't know. But actually looking back here in the app, it is showing my heart rate every so often. Let's see, we have a today up here. There's your steps for the day. I guess that's to link and unlink the band itself. Tap on that and it shows you data over time. Swipe over and here's your sleep information if you wear it while you sleep. I set it up to give me 10,000 steps per day and six hours of sleep because that would be kind of nice. Let's see, under details, it's gonna give you all your information for the week, the month, and the year. No information yet. Under the device tab, you've got information about your device here at the top and the app version. You've got call alerts, sedentary alerts, alarm alerts, SMS alerts, SNS alerts, camera, which interestingly enough is going to allow me to control my camera using the device. And anytime that I've been pushing the little circle here or the button on the side, it's been snapping a photo. Wrist sense, which I can only assume means sensing when it's on the wrist. And he lost alert, find phone and device update. Let's see if there's any device updates while we're in here. Well, that doesn't appear to be doing anything. Under user, it's got target settings, my info and system settings. You can also turn on Google Fit. I had to kind of mess with it there, but finally the Google Fit did turn on. Under system settings, you've got unit set to Imperial because I'm in a country where we use Imperial. Reboot the device or app version. Let's just see if I can do the device update now. We're gonna try again. You also have an unbind option here. It does come on whenever you flick your wrist a little bit. Sometimes, there you go. The heart rate seems to be pretty accurate. Let me take some steps around the room and see how it works. Well, I walked from one end of the house to the other and that actually seemed pretty accurate. 33 steps. It was about 16 there, 16 back. 0 0.02 kilometers and one calorie burned. Success. So obviously I can't go into very thorough detail on this or anything. I've only been using it for about five minutes now. But so far it's a very interesting little device. I'll have to see how it works with notifications. I'll have to see how it works with phone calls and whatnot. The app itself just updated to reflect the steps that I got. And I'm gonna go ahead and turn on call alerts. There you can see device vibrates for eight seconds or you can set it from three to 30 seconds. Sedentary alerts, sure. 
I guess you just kind of have to swipe across those, which is kind of odd. But remind after 30 minutes without movement, okay. Alarm alert, so you can set alarms through this. SMS alerts, and again, you have to swipe across that. SNS alerts, so here is your notification access. So we're gonna go ahead and turn that on. And here's some other things you can specifically say, give me alerts on these. So give me Twitter alerts. Give me Instagram, Messenger, and there's not a whole lot there. So you'll have to let me know what you think about this down in the comment section below. Again, initial impressions, I like the way it feels. It's not uncomfortable. It's got a little bit of a light curve to it here on the bottom so that it is kind of comfortable up against the wrist. It's pretty easy to put on and fasten. Basically just have these two little buttons that kind of snap into place. For a device of this size, the screen is definitely a little bit smaller than I would expect. I guess I would expect it to take up a little bit more room on there, but it still gets the job done. It just feels like everything's kind of squished into that little OLED panel right in the middle. But it is OLED, and that's not exactly commonplace. So again, initial impression is pretty decent. For 40 bucks, you really can't complain that much. Links to where you can find this can be found down in the description. Thanks so much to Riversong for sending this out for me to take a look at. Let me know if there's anything else you'd like to know about this, any of your longer term type things, let me know. But remember, if you like this video, leave a thumbs up down below. Subscribe to receive more of my videos when they become available. We'll see you again next time.